In this video, we will discuss surface volumes. Please open the file surfacevolumes.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with this Dataset video. Civil 3D provides tools to analyze and calculate the volumes for volume surfaces and bounded areas within volume surfaces. To create a volume, navigate to the Analyze tab, Volumes and Materials panel, and then Volumes Dashboard. This will open up the Volumes Dashboard Vista in the Panorama window. Let's turn AutoHide on for a minute. So what we want to do here is we want to get a volume calculation between this combined EG and this pad design that we have here. What you first do is you simply click on Create New Volume Surface, and Civil 3D will create a volume surface for you. And of course, what you do is you define your base surface, which in this case will be combined EG, and then the comparison surface, which will be this pad here. Let's set our style to No Display, as we do not need this surface to display. We simply need it for volume calculations. Click OK. There is our volume surface. As you can see, a graph appears, letting you know how balanced your cut and fill quantities are. In this case, the pad is very high off the ground, so we have a lot of fill. Let's say, though, you wanted to calculate a bounded volume based upon a specific area within your drawing. We have a pre-drawn rectangle, and what we simply need to do is select the surface and then click on Add Bounded Volume. When you don't know what to do, look at the command line window. Select Bounding Object. We'll go ahead and click on the rectangle. If you scroll to the left here, you'll notice that there is a Volume 1.1 Volume Calculation, which is the bounded area. If you wanted to print out this volume calculation, you could click on the Generate Cut Fill Report, and this will open up in your default browser. If you want to place it in AutoCAD, simply click on the Insert Cut Fill Summary, and then navigate somewhere. It's going to use your current layer and properties, as well as your current textile and settings. Click on the drawing, and there's our summary as mText.